Today is the day. Blood Trails new AI and gore update is finally here. And I gotta say, it is so brutal. Here's what I mean. The new update is available on the experimental branch on Steam where a few of the featured game modes is currently unavailable and one of the new game modes in this experimental branch is arcade mode where you have a few little different areas which you can go around and you activate that game mode by killing the first innocent cult member. After that it is pretty much up to you how you play. You can either choose to want pistols, knives, shotguns. All that good stuff, and you can choose from shooters, runners. I chose runners because preferably I enjoyed chasing after the fences, people. Game modes are not the only thing that has gone down. Unfortunately, with the experimental game mode, it does take away a few of the NPCs to get them a little bit more polished until the final version of the game. But one big notable thing which I'm so happy to see in this experimental branch is the fact that NPCs have a bit more character now. They actually look like people. They've still got quite a similar design to them before. But now they look a little bit more mucky, a little bit more realistic, and they look a little bit different. And most importantly, let's talk about the effects of what happens when you shoot or torture each NPC that you come across. And very, very importantly from Electro Waves company that made the game, the effects of when you actually kill the NPCs, now to the point where you can actually see their insides, the heart, the ribs, etc. The only thing I am still a little bit disappointed with the game is there isn't really good knife physics if you use melee weapons. They're not really good still. They're still at the point where it's... They're still sort of just like slapping them around and not actually doing any physical damage. The only thing that I did see that was very cool is this right here with the corkscrew. Yeah, so if you felt like you were a psychopath before in VR, Blood Trail might be in the number one spot in terms of NPC torture. To the extent of what it's like now, you generally feel like you'd be committing a real life sussy Sigma murder. As they'd once say, Sigma Sigma on the wall, who's the sussiest of them all? It's you, it's you, yes it's you, you go and shoot those sussy goose too. 
But in conclusion, this game has just gotten a lot more fun. There is meant to be a story mode still to be added to this game, but after a lot of hard work, especially on the detail of the gore and the pure brutality of this game, it makes it such a brutal experience as if you can handle a bit of gore or if you can't, this may be one of the most gruesome ways to play VR yet. Finish it. 